measurement of pressure mechanical gauges at the end of this lesson you will be able to list and discuss the different types of mechanical gauges for pressure measurement introduction to measurement of pressure mechanical gauges for all the technologies and the lifestyle that we enjoy today we must definitely thank the industrial revolution that took place in the 18th century notably steam engines are the most important game changing factors in the industrial revolution without which we couldn't have even imagined our modern transportation and other technical advancements steam engines were modified as steam engine locomotives steam ships machinery in factories mills mines etc despite all these advancements there was a big disadvantage with the steam locomotives before that let us look into their principle of working it is simple coal is heated up in a chamber at high temperatures and high pressures this is used to heat up the water running over long cylindrical rods the steam from the rods is then drawn to the pistons at high pressures this pressurized steam pushes the piston in to and fro motion the piston is connected to the wheels of the locomotives thus the movement of the piston makes the wheels move so what was the disadvantage or the trouble causing factor it was the extreme high pressure so when the pressure inside the chamber exceeds it leads to a deadly explosion of the whole unit in order to avoid it measurement of high pressure became mandatory therefore to measure high pressures we make use of the mechanical gauges come on in this topic let us discuss more about the mechanical pressure gauges and its types in detail mechanical gauges mechanical gauges are defined as the devices used for measuring the pressure by balancing the fluid column by spring or dead weight the commonly used mechanical gauges are bourdon tube pressure gauge diaphragm gauge and vacuum gauge let's discuss them one by one in detail bourdon tube pressure gauge bourdon tube pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure of both gas and liquid in other terms it is used to measure the gauge pressure with reference to the atmospheric pressure it consists of an elastic metallic tube of elliptical cross section and is bent in the form of circular arc it is known as the bourdon tube one end of the tube is fixed by the socket and the other end is closed by a plug one end of the tube is connected to a pinion sector arrangement through an adjustable link the pinion sector arrangement remains fixed on a spindle a pointer is attached to the spindle to read the pressure on the dial scale the dial has a calibrated scale which shows the amount of pressure with proper units and the other end of the tube is fixed and connected to a u tube siphon filled with saturated water the steam space of the boiler is connected to a pressure gauge via the saturated water now let's look at the working of the pressure gauge when pressure is applied the elliptical tube that is bourdon tube tries to acquire a circular cross section as a result stress is developed and the tube tries to straighten up thus the free end of the tube moves up depending on the magnitude of pressure the deflection is magnified by the adjustable link and is transferred to the pinion sector arrangement via tooth sector the magnitude of the movement is shown by the pointer on the calibrated scale from which the pressure value can be read this is how the bourdon tube pressure gauge works generally bourdon tubes are made of bronze or nickel steel depending upon the purpose for which they are required bourdon tube gauges are made in different forms some of them are compound bourdon tube and double bourdon tube compound bourdon tube is used 
for measuring pressures both above and below the atmospheric pressure. And double bordon tube is used where vibrations are encountered. This pressure gauge is mostly used in high pressure conditions, for example, in chemical industries, steam power plants, etc. The next one is diaphragm gauge. The diaphragm gauge consists of a corrugated diaphragm, rack, pinion, and needle. When pressure acts on the diaphragm, it reflects causing the linkage to move up. This movement of diaphragm transmits to rack and pinion. And the latter attached to the spindle of needle moves on a graduated dial. Then the corresponding reading for pressure is displayed. This diaphragm gauge finds its application in draft chimneys of boilers. And the next one is vacuum gauge. It has a tube which is bent into a circular arc. The so-called Bourdon tube is connected to the vacuum system. Due to the effect of the external atmospheric pressure, the end of the tube bends more or less during the evacuation process. This actuates the pointer arrangement which is attached to this point. The corresponding pressure can be read off on a linear scale. Vacuum gauges find its application in condensers. While installing any pressure gauge, following considerations are required. Flexible copper tubing and compression fittings are recommended for most installations. The installation of gauge cock and T in the line close to the gauge is recommended as it permits the gauge to be removed for testing or replacement without having to shut down the system. Pulsating pressures in the gauge line are not required. The gauge and its connecting line are filled with an inert liquid and as such liquid seals are provided. Conclusion Thus, the accuracy of the gauges will ensure proper product quality and enhancement of the life of vacuum system, such that this high pressure measurements helped to control the pressure inside the combustion chamber. So, people were able to relax, sit back and enjoy their journey. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, we have learnt about the measurement of pressure in mechanical gauges. Mechanical gauges are defined as devices used for measuring the pressure by balancing the fluid column by the spring or dead weight. Types of mechanical gauges and their working.